Once you have clicked the Google Drive icon on the bottom row of your student's Chromebook, it should open to a screen like you see here. If you are a new student, there will be nothing in that drive unless you are coming from another school within Lee County. Either way, the process of setting up your folder for Lee Virtual School is the same. You will need to click on My Drive just to make sure you're in the right place. Next, click on New. Add a folder. You're going to title this folder with Students Grade Level. and student name, first and last. Then click Create. Now you have a folder that needs to be shared with your student's teacher. So make sure that you've clicked on the folder and it's highlighted blue. And you're gonna come over to the little person with the plus sign, click there, and type in your teacher's name. So for example, if Mrs. Avery is your teacher, you could type in Carla Avery. Or you would type in Trisha Gatewood. As you can see, her information popped up there. And then you can click Send. Once you've done that, you will have a little person appear on the folder. This lets you know that this folder has now been shared with your teacher. Please open the folder. And once you're inside of that folder, you're going to create another folder. So click on New folder and title this one semester one and create. As you can see, the person remained on the folder, which means now anything that goes within your student's named folder will be shared with your teacher. You can now click on your semester one folder and add folders inside such as math, click new, folder, language arts, and so on for each subject area. In the event that your student needs to do an assignment within language arts, you can open up the Language Arts folder. You can click on New, and you can use some of the other apps that Google offers, such as Google Docs. Google Docs works very much like Word. So now that this document is opened, you can title it Lesson 1. And you can start typing into the document. The nice thing is that it will save automatically and it will automatically save into the folder in which you started working. This will become very helpful in the future as you are building portfolio items for your class for the year.